everybody, it's Sarah Gomez from Geek Plus, and today we're talking every customer's favorite topic, software. Today I have Joe Kraft joining me. He is the Director of System Consulting here at Geek Plus. Joe, as I understand it, our system software is all on one platform, which makes integrations and uh, add-ons a little bit more simple. Could you explain more? That's right. So our software itself is uh, modular, but it's built on a standard platform. So we have different modules for different aspects of functionality. Uh, and, but all of uh, the interfaces go through one layer. So one API, regardless of which module, regardless of which functionality we use. The most asked question from customers is, uh, can our system software integrate with a client's existing WMS? Absolutely. Uh, every install we do, we're connected to some upper level system, whether it's a WMS, another WES, or even an ERP. It's been said that our, our software is scalable. What does that mean to you? Yep. Scalable means that we can put in as little or as much as the customer needs. So if we start small, if they're just doing a, a pallet system, no uh, totes, no cases, we put in a portion of the software that handles that. As their business grows, their operation changes, we add on different modules, different features of the software and scale to grow with their operation. When it comes to our system software, is customization an option for our clients? Yes. Yeah. It's true that almost every customer does picking, packing, shipping, receiving, put away. Uh, but how they do it can be different. And each customer wants to personalize their system to meet their unique uh, requirements. And so the way we do that is through configuration of the software. Sometimes we have to make you know, true software customizations, but most of the time we can handle the requirements through a configuration. So maybe customization is not the word. Right, because you mentioned to me that customization um, often comes with a high price tag. <laughs> it, it can come with extra work, right? Uh, customizing, uh, going away from standard, uh, introducing risk. Uh, it's, it's part of every project, but we try to minimize it by you know, using configuration versus actual customization of software code. Okay, so, so you prefer the word personalization, which I like as personalization, well. Personalization, yes. Okay, great. One of my favorite things to talk about when it comes to software is our robot management system, or our RMS. Could you explain a little bit more about how RMS is um, part of our system software? Sure. So <clears throat> RMS is the lowest level of control that we have with the robots. Uh, it sits right on top of the fleet. Best way to think about it is it's the piece of software that determines which robots get which tasks how to route them, and then to handle any uh, fault conditions that might occur, such as a, a dead battery or uh, a, a broken motor. And what, what I love about it is that, um, as I understand it, uh, the RMS is able to control a small set of robots, but also a large fleet of robots, right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. One, one RMS uh, instance can manage the entire fleet, uh, whether it's a handful of robots or hundreds of robots. Wow. That's impressive. So we gain a lot of opportunities through our partners. Could you please tell us what are the trends that you're seeing or the questions being asked by our partners? Certainly. So <clears throat> with the software, uh, a lot of our partners have their own warehouse execution software or software that can be used for driving the fulfillment aspect of the system, the actual processes, the picking, the put away, cycle counting. Uh, what they don't have is software to drive the robots themselves, which is where we come in with the RMS. So a, a frequent uh, question or, or request is, can they integrate their uh, third-party software directly with our RMS? And the answer is yes. Fantastic. So one of the things that our clients have mentioned is that Geek Plus System Software has a great UI user interface uh, for several reasons. Um, one, because it's easy to use and it cuts down on the amount of training time for new associates. Uh, but also, uh, it is picture-based, so people's first language doesn't necessarily have to be English. Could you explain more? Sure. So <clears throat> the user interface, uh, it's simple. And it's, it's meant to be simple so that operators can find it easy to use. Uh, it is graphically uh, based. Like you said, we have pictures showing them what the inventory looks like that they actually need to, to pick. Uh, we will highlight on the rack where they need to, to pick. And then we limit the amount of information on the screen. So we just give them 
what's necessary for them to perform, perform their, their function. We're really lucky to have the Director of System Consulting here with us today. Uh, could you tell us what is your favorite part about Geek Plus software? It's always evolving. Uh, it's always evolving. We've got a standard product development that is uh, continuously working on new roadmap initiatives and uh, very much looking forward to what we can achieve this year. Wonderful. Well, Joe Kraft, it was a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions about our software or anything else Geek Plus related, please visit our website, www.geekplus.com. I'm Sarah Gomez. Thanks for joining us.